Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero and welcome to The Gallagher Case. A horror game where you go to help your elderly neighbor. But then like all horror games, things take a turn for the worse. Hi mom, I know you're working late and I wanted to leave a note. So you don't have to worry if you don't see me at home. Miss Gallagher called and asked me to help to please help her tune the antenna. She's not very good of technology. You know she's very ill and Mr. Gallagher has recently disappeared. I'll see you at dinner time. P.S. I've done my homework. Good for you, doing your homework. Before getting in all these hijinks that probably will get you killed. Probably should have done something more productive with your life in your final moments. Hello? Miss Gallagher? Hmm. Anyone home? Um, it just kind of opened on its own. Nothing in my pockets. Miss Gallagher, I, your house is pretty old looking. I didn't know you got one of them new fancy smart doors. Photograph. Honeymoon, 1952. I still can't understand how a woman with Alzheimer's and almost completely unable to walk can do something like this. It's been three days since I tied her to the bed and she hasn't slept for any of them. When I went into her room this morning, I understood what the continuous thumping and knocking sounds from the room were all about. She had mutilated her leg with the handle of a spoon. She had managed to untie herself. Good God. It's closed. Man, there's a real haze over everything. What was that? No, see, there's like a real haze over everything. It's a it's an interesting color scheme, I'll say that. The four part book. Okay. You know, like I said, radio, it seems to still work. I think if I read that right, wasn't paying full attention. Television does not work. Scaliger. Are you in here? I'm trying to... Navigate, but there's this weird sunset in your house going on. Glue and a doorknob. Oh. Well, we'll need those at some point. Oh, here we go. Victory Resolution, 2nd December 1982. The bronze medal went to the 8th best player in the league. The 1st best player won the gold medal with a landslide victory. Silver medal went to the, what, in my opinion, is the 5th best player in the world. Only Smith-Williams could overtake him. Okay. Yeah, I can take those keys. Personal safe has key slots. Hmm. It all started as an unhealthy obsession he had with television. I decided to try to get him to watch less TV, and he started behaving differently and erratically. The last few days, there was a problem with the signal, and the screen just showed a blank static image. He just stood there staring at it for hours. It did nothing else. I watched it, sometimes even stopped breathing. I removed the fuse from the electrical box downstairs and left it in the small safe next to the typewriter. I doubt if she can open it, the password is known only to her and me. She can't possibly remember our wedding year. The sound of the keys make her hysterical. The screams are heard from the bathroom, and I find it hard to think what I should do. Call the police. Maybe a priest. I had to tie her to the bed. In spite of her disability, she got up and started to walk, as if nothing had happened. The first time I watched with my own eyes, she began to climb up the wall to the ceiling? Every articulation, every expression in her voice is completely unnatural. It's not my wife anymore. 
She just screams in a guttural voice that reverberates throughout the house. It's a deep masculine voice. She speaks a language I don't know, not Hebrew or Latin. Oh, hello there. I will not enter without light. What's this? What the hell is that noise? Oh, we can probably get rid of the glue. Uh, what? Wait, someone has boarded up the door. That was a little too fast. Well, use. Okay. There's the fuses. Turn off the TV, don't look at her. Why? What's wrong? Sweet. I can use that. Did that? Wait. That's blood on it, not rust, isn't it? No, that's probably rust. How's the TV on if there's no fuse here on for the TV? Well, they said don't look at her, but it's just a harmless old woman, so I mean... Nazi of Sandy's religion discovered in 1913 talks about a god who provides his disciples with ominous and incomplete information. He will become a demigod where past, present, and future are the same. Turn off the TV, don't look at her. Just look at the floor. Look at the floor. Not the feet. I think we're in a cutscene. Oh, it's the If the fuse is here... Do I have to combine it? This is some old school fuses. Don't look at her. Don't be tempted. Oh yeah, the one room was like... Oh god, what, 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 what? <laughs> Death is the process which living organism enlarges its visual and spiritual field. I feel like the game is like, talking shit. Can I turn off TV? Oh god. No! I think, I guess she was still there. I probably was like, I probably angled up too much. This Gallagher's a demigod. Okay, the game, game, you, I know, no game. Now you're mocking me at this point. Is it, what was it, Sonic EXE? Where like, Sonic's like, I am God. Okay. Is she moving around behind me? I really hate that sound. That sound is no good. I'm kind of like trying to avoid... Avoid her vision. And trying to stay alive. You know, because staying alive is a good thing. No! I try to stay alive! Oh, I am still alive. Okay. 
Gonna have to wash off the sins of this household. Ah, cassette tape. First words of a son, Emma. Number two? I wonder if there's more tapes around. Is this what happened to the husband? There's something inside, but I can't reach of my arm. Hey, free match. You obtain four keys. Man, I want to find more cassette tapes, but, you know, I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit worried. Yeah, they're only for the safe. I think. How many, uh, keys we need? The sound of the keys make her hysterical. So you're saying if I use the keys, I'm gonna die. Right. Oh, one, oh, one, oh, eight, 1952. Little bit worried. You're not in here anymore, are you? Because I'm looking in. We good. Oh, great. Morse code. Now I'm morbidly curious. Can we use the keys here? Yeah, we're good. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, let's see. So is this the entity we're dealing with? But yes, we did confirm the keys do in fact upset her. Okay. One nine. Fifty. Two. Don't murder me. You obtain a fuse. We do have that Morse code. It might be tied to this. <laughs> she was making noise. This is right near the one lock. So eight, eight, three. Well, he said the bonds would be the third place, right? So three, three, five, eight. Okay, it's from the front. Thank you. Caffeine. Okay. Cable. One tin coil is malleable and stretches easily. Small key with nothing. Apparently, not... it's a little bit of a bug right there. So that's the small key thing. Um, amphetamines. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm doing with those, but we're doing something. I got a crank. Cool. Q. 
Here's something. Let's see if anything's going on down here. I heard her earlier, but maybe she's gone. Oh, look, here's another tape. Francis. The first words of our son Francis 1. The first words of our son Emma 2. The whole thing probably makes one big Morse code. The question is, is there any other tapes? How many tapes are we dealing with? Hey, look. I can take it. Why? What do I gain from taking this? Did I just die? Let's put the fuse in for some reason? There we go. Well, the clock started working. And by working, I mean it fell. Miss Gallagher's keys. Has that symbol on the label as like the attic. We can use this. And then use the key. I'm gonna listen to the Morse codes before I go up there. This might be a one-way trip. And then... Hmm. Okay, so I translated the Morse code, and all it says is, I am God. So, that's probably a message from Miss Gallagher, or, well, the thing possessing her anyway. Uh, and I doubt there's any more tapes, because that's, that's basically a complete message. So we didn't find anything new, but it was kind of like a nifty Easter egg. the hell is... Oh. That's broken. Hmm. You just leave? Hey, free tape. Sure, why not? That's an interesting... Oh god! She was behind me, wasn't she? She probably was like just directly behind me. I, I didn't turn around. I should probably confirm this. Prepare for another jump scare. Or a front scare, depending on your perspective. Yep. God, she's weird.
Now, I suspect I can leave through there, but, like, I'm wondering, like, can I fix this and just, like, hoof it? Yeah. I broke my ankle, and I still don't know how I made it home. It's been a year since it happened, and my mind keeps replaying that image of Miss Gallagher in front of the television. The police opened an investigation two days later. They arrested the man who was broadcasting a TV program on Channel 3. He was talking about an alternative religion called the Nazi of Sanity, which talked about the attainment of absolute truth and the relationship between the accumulation of information and God, a different God. In his program, strange symbols, sounds, and subliminal images could be seen. He used complex methods to induce hypnosis. A trial was held six months later. The offense against religious feelings is punishable by six years in prison. Since that day, every second of my life is hell. As if at any moment an image appears in my head accompanied by a short, horrible sound. I can't eat. I can't sleep. Dad, I'm sorry for taking the shotgun. I hope you understand that I need to die. Mom, you are the person I've loved most of my life, and I'm so sorry to do this to you. Your son loves you. The end, I'm assuming. Yep. So that's it for the Gallagher case. It's a pretty decent free indie horror game. I I can see the PT influence, and not in the, the hallways are looping and you're stuck kind of thing. No, it's a little more traditional. Uh, at least in the amnesia style horror anyway. But I see the, the PT influence in the old lady, how she kind of twitches and moves and the way she kind of appears and the use of like the TV and like the radio and how they all kind of synergize. I, I see that part right there, the influence wise. Not that it's a bad game. I think it used its jump scares and things pretty effectively. I'm glad that there was actually jump scares because actually that's surprisingly becoming rare nowadays where the ghost actually doesn't do anything or you barely ever see it. Although I would have also liked some more subtle scares as in where she wasn't always a threat because as soon as she's appeared you're dead you know you but the type of thing where you like you up to the tv and you have to like kind of turn it off and ignore her that was really good because that's a more subtle scare if you do something wrong you're dead you're kind of intimidated you're creeping up slowly and you got back out slowly very effective storyline wise we have a kind of lovecraftian premise and i'm not using it in the cthulhu sense i just using it in like other writers have wrote Lovecraftian style, obviously. They, they've been inspired by Lovecraft, but plenty of famous writers have touched upon it. And it went upon the, um, the, the download of information, of data, into your brain. So, sometimes it's like you read a book, sometimes you've unlocked a special gland or something in your head. Sometimes it's in your dreams, but, like, you get access to, like, the records of the universe, and it just fries your brain, transforms you into a monster. Because your mortal frame can't handle it. You've seen that in horror movies, you've seen that in even Warhammer, and you've seen that in a certain manga that may or may not involve the word Halloween. But that is a classic kind of trope, and it's kind of used here effectively and kind of purges in well with the, the scares and the TV and everything. I kind of liked it. But that's about all I can say for this game. It's a solid kind of short, you know, kind of scary experience. Anyway, so if you go off and watch you play the Gallagher case, I'll see you guys later. And take it easy.